very dangerous. <laughs> no, not at all. We respect Ireland um, team as we did uh, against England. Um, for sure, I know that how bad it is if you think that way in my career as well. Um, we are not going to uh, treat Ireland no less than how we prepared for England and mindset-wise. So we respect them, but we never fear them any team. So that's the only man mantra we have. We respect every op opposition, but we're trying to play our best cricket. And when we play our best cricket, I think we are good enough to beat most teams. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's, it's a challenge for players and everyone, like skill-wise, because changing format to format is slightly different the way you approach mentally. Um, other than that, nowadays is is uh, scheduling as such. You be able to adapt. So um, I don't think it's uh, uh, it that way. Yeah, if you think that way, it will affect you as well. You have never given me a chance to explain. You already said it. Uh, that your opinion. That's actually your opinion. I don't think his pass is fine. Um, uh, we are trying to do what we are trying to do is that expanding our uh, pool of players. Uh, before the World Cup, if in, in case, if something happened close to the World Cup and then there are enough players that we have seen and we can trust to do a job, do a role. So that, that's the opportunity, I mean I'm rushed to do that because we got only 15 odd games I think leading up to the World Cup. Um, so therefore we are trying to uh, give opportunity to the players that we think that um, can do the role. So, Riyadh is still in the mix. So, that's the way we look at it. Oh, just to go with freedom and go and play what they have been doing in local cricket. Um, because we, we have seen them in, in local tournament that what they can do, that's how we pick them. So, we, because of their performance and because of their ability to bat certain way and ability to or the record against pace and spin. Um, so, here only we are giving them the comfort or the mental, uh, what do you call it, the confidence that they can do the same thing in the international level. Um, so, whoever, so basically we are looking at who has that character. Because we know that they, they have done it, because we don't pick someone who has not scored runs or not taken wicket. So when we get guys who are performing in the local um, tournaments or the domestic tournament, we only see whether they have the character to do in the international level. So we, it's, it's important for us to know who got the players who have the right character to win games, win tight situations. I'm not expert in that area, but uh, looking at it, it looks good wicket to bat and um, score a lot of runs. At the same time, I think there's enough uh, for the fast bowlers and the spinners. Um, I always rate our, our, our spinners, uh, always, because they're very um, tactically savvy as well as skillful. But this time, my fast bowlers have come and leads and bounds, so I'm very happy with that as well. That's a very difficult question to answer because you're trying to find out what we are thinking of now. As I said, Riyadh has done enough. He has a has lot of experience. We know what he can bring. So we want some other players also to get up some kind of a, get up to the mark playing international cricket. He, not in skill-wise. As I mentioned to him, by Sam, it's about seeing these guys have the character to do that level. So it doesn't mean that that guy performed well, that Mahmudullah is finished. He's still in our plans. I don't.